So what is going on guys, we are back with another video today and we are going to talk about the Uncharted collection or the Nathan Drake collection which has been announced for quite a, quite a while now, about a couple of months, uh, it was just before E3 that happened. Um, but we're going to pretty much discuss what we know about the collection so far. Um, there's been some news that's, uh, that's recently been announced by Eric Monticelli uh, on Twitter I think, I think the other day. So we're going to quickly go through everything we know about the collection and uh, yeah, so you know, kind of update you with what that's, what that's going to be because it's going to get uh, released on October 7th I think, October 9th I think in Europe. Um, oh no, 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 hang on, October 7th in Europe and October 9th in the rest of the world, that's correct. Um, so anyway, um, pretty much going to start off with the basic stuff, which is that all three games minus Golden Abyss are in the actual collection. So we've got Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Uncharted Among Thieves, and Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, all in 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys are pretty happy Without about that, let's be honest. Though. Without multiplayer, Without multiplayer, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. yeah. It's got no multiplayer involved. That was, like... Out of all the things they could have done wrong, that's the only thing they did wrong. But it's like the biggest thing that they could have done wrong, like yeah. in essence, because like a lot of people would have bought that game for the multiplayer. Me personally, it wouldn't have made a massive difference. It may have pushed me over the edge to buy the game, but I mean, like, I think a lot of people would have been looking forward to that. But apart from anything else, yeah, I mean, all three games remastered. It's what you expect from a collection. I mean, at least they're not remastering one of the games that like they did with God of War Three, because that would have been a very big cash grab but at least they're doing the collection so i, can't I think do it's better they didn't put golden abyss in either because that was a vita game so that would basically just kill off the vita if that came out on ps4 so it's better that they've it's left that out though, of this really. collection yeah i know but it's yeah. just better that they've left it out anyway then again to be fair i wouldn't have minded it being there i mean to be honest like it, it is actually a really, really good game for yeah, the vita i mean yeah. it, it works perfectly well and um i think i think it would have been nice to have it in there but Probably the complications of bringing a Vita game to PS4 probably would have been much more, um, you know, it would have been far worse than just, you know, remastering the first three games, which people, you know, some people loved on, loved on the PS3, and some people haven't even played on the, PS, on the PS3. So, you know, I, I think that was what they wanted to do, get the three main core games remastered and in 1080p 60 frames per second. So that's pretty much the first big point. Obviously, uh, Quan... Quan, Quan, whatever you want to say, um, slightly <laughs> touched on the uh, on the point that there's no multiplayer. Um, yes, that's kind of annoying, but I still see the idea that the uh, that um, you know it was. A beta is, is, is for Uncharted 4 is, is, is what the multiplayer component of this game is for me. That That's that's what I still see. Yes, it's disappointing not to have the multiplayers, but I still like the idea that... It's only going to be uh, there for Uncharted a few weeks, though. That's true, that's true, but it's yeah, but still, still a nice idea. Of what it's I don't be like think... And what a few yeah, but anybody who's afterwards. buying the game... Anybody who would have bought the game for the multiplayer isn't going to buy it for the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta. I mean, that's a massive well, generalisation, no, but that's like, there may be a few people who wouldn't mind it, but like, I think, for the most part, if you cared about the multiplayer, you wouldn't have been happy. You wouldn't have been happy that it was only the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta. But moving on from the multiplayer bit, um, should we go through what other new parts of the game there are? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, we've got the motion controls that have been kind of taken out from Uncharted 1. This got announced this week, actually, only a couple of days ago. Um, so, if you didn't know, in Uncharted 1, um, for throwing grenades, it was very, very weird. Because of obviously, they had the new hardware for the PS3 at that time, six axes was in the DualShock 3. Um, pretty much, you had to throw your grenades by moving up and down with the DualShock 3. It was a terrible, terrible system. It uh, didn't work very well. Um, so, they've actually scrapped that completely for Uncharted 1. Or at least, I think they have anyway. They might have actually still had the option in there, but for a while, I know they've they're using the same system that Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 2 had. And um, so, yeah, you can just throw grenades normally with, with L2, I assume. Mm. Um, so, that's one of the smaller changes. Um, moving on to one of the bigger changes, actually, uh, which I found was a good you know, a good addition, if, if any, um, was the addition of a new difficulty. Um, we were discussing this before the video, um, and how the, well, especially Uncharted 3, less so with Uncharted 2, and even even more less so, if that makes sense, with Uncharted 1. Yeah, um, a new difficulty is definitely needed. I mean, it's, it's called Brutal, we were saying before, um, which is harder than crushing, and I do think that's definitely needed for those who like a challenge in Uncharted 3, because it was just far too easy, that game, and a lot of people wouldn't have found it at all taxing to play it through on hard, and the people who wanted a challenge would have found crushing very easy. So I think that's that's one of the, be the, the better additions anyway. However, it will be interesting to see how Uncharted 1 fares because that was a much harder game than Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 2. Yeah, so definitely. it'll be interesting to see how Uncharted 1 is in comparison to what crushing was like on Uncharted 1. So that's going to be an interesting one to see and how that plays out. Um, 
Another thing that was announced this week was the idea that uh, si- 65, I think, around. That's what Aaron Moloselli says anyway. 60, I think it was. But, yeah, yeah, 60 or so. It's kind of that kind of number anyway. Um, their new uh, character models, which are pretty much all the Drake models that have been in the past three games, uh, are playable in throughout the whole of the three games. So you've got like Wetsuit Drake, Donut Drake, Donut. Um, oh, no, that's well, I the only one that's actually going to be playable because obviously Donut Sully and all that stuff was in the multiplayer, but I don't think you can use those in the single player for um, Uncharted the Nathan Drake collection. But obviously all these different kind of DLC um, uh, skins that you could use in multiplayer and that kind of thing. They're all playable in the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. Um, so I think that's awesome. Um, even though it's a kind of bit of a cartoony thing, you probably won't do it on the first time you play it through. It's just a bit of kind of fun replay value, I suppose, in that sense. So that's that's quite interesting for me anyway. Makes it more enjoyable for yourself, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, it's going to be... It's funny to see Donut Drake just walking through, you know, Nepal. No, that'd be mm. funny. Um, <laughs> oh, or, my God. Or, yeah. No, that's the best thing. Donut Drake falling out the plane in Uncharted 3. <laughs> <laughs> How would we hold on to that, that to that little that, kind of crater that, thing? That he wouldn't. He'd be... just be dragging it down. He wouldn't be able to open a parachute in time. <laughs> that would be That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I if that, that ends up being like something that is actually like what we think it's going to be, then it would be quite yeah. funny to see. Although I like, I think it would just take the atmosphere out of it, although I'm not sure if many people even care about it. If it's that Uncharted funny. is a very, very kind of funny game. It's, yeah, it's, not, it's yeah. not meant to take itself so seriously, so I think that's, I think that's quite a nice thing to have in there. Mm. Um, Humor-based. Other things we've got, uh, the kind of remade face models, or not remade, but kind of, you know, remastered in the yeah, sense that it's, I mean, you know, it's all scaled. Robin mentioned in his other video that they did it with the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. They did sort of like a new you know, face model for Lara. I presume they're going to be doing that for uh, for Drake and Sully and Elena for Uncharted 1. Uncharted 2 and 3, they were fairly similar, really. Um, Uncharted 1, they just did look much more plastic, though, so it was much more needed there, of course. Yep, and obviously there's obviously an increase in draw distances as well, so that's going to be very, very nice for some of the kind of bigger environments. Um, you know, it might be interesting for Nepal. That I've already seen some gameplay for that. It looks awesome. Um, so, yeah, I mean, definitely it's some good um, kind of gameplay improvements. Uh, we've also got a photo mode, but I guess that was kind of like obvious. They seem to include that in all the games now. Yeah, all um, the remastered yeah. games, yeah. All the remastered weird. games. So there's a photo mode in Last of Us Remastered. There's a photo mode in the chart that Nathan Drake direction. So that's going to be interesting. And the weird thing is, most of these photo modes aren't really even, like, all that need is like there's a photo mode in Resogun which I thought was like really cool to have because that's Res- really cool I love Res- that like, I that, yeah I like Resogun's the only photo mode I've ever used in a game and having said that I don't play a huge deal remasters so I can't say I've had the opportunity to use many you know different photo modes but I mean it's not something I usually see as very useful but at least it's there I mean it's sort of standard now with remastered games yeah so the uh, kind of final thing to kind of touch on here is pretty much the idea that the biggest thing I think for lots of people is that there is an Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta in there. Um, and, you know, I, I, I was kind of thinking, when would the beta be released? Like, I, I'm trying to think in the time scale. I mean, you expect an Uncharted 4 to be released in kind of March or maybe April time. You know, they, they, I think they said the latest it will be released in is April. Um, so... You know, I'm 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 wondering, will they will they release the Uncharted 4 beta in in, 20, in 2015, sorry, or 2016? Like, that's the thing. Um, if I had to make a very bold prediction, and this is it's a pretty bold prediction, oh, I think they will release you and your bold bloody predictions. Bold predictions. Oh, we love those bold Christ. predictions. Here we go. <laughs> I think I think they're gonna I think they're gonna release the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta in December of 2015. That's my prediction. I think they'll release it in this year. Mate, you're not Robin. You're not going to get come like, out. all these predictions and shit. Like, he's oh, the only one that can predict shit. I think it's just going to come out when the collection <laughs> releases. I mean, just so they've, if there is anything wrong with it, they got mm. time to sort it out, you know? It's a bit early for mm, a beta, bit really. early. Yeah, I mean, like, they usually have a beta a few months before a game comes out, not like half a year before a game comes out. But Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all of it, really. I mean... Uh, there's the ability to throw back grenades in Uncharted 1 and Uncharted 2, although that's an, another minor thing. I think all in all, there's a lot of minor changes that would make a difference if you've played the games before. And if you haven't played the games before, you wouldn't really notice them. You know, you'd sort of guess they were already there. But, I mean, if you haven't played the Uncharted series before and you've got a PlayStation 4, we'd highly recommend you play it because, of course, these three games were among the best on the PS3. If you have played it before, then, of course, that's your own choice whether or not you play it. Personally, I'm on the fence. I don't think I'll end up getting it because I don't think I want to spend that much money on something I've already played and I don't think I'd get my value out of it. Um, but there's nothing stopping you from buying it if you have already played the games. I presume you two will be, you will be buying and playing it, of course. You might be presuming wrong. <laughs> well, you Never probably... Mind. I saw you have, yeah. <laughs> but you're probably right. I probably will get it. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, so let us know if you want to see anything else on the Uncharted collection. Let us know if you want to, you know, get interested in this thing. And, um, you know, pretty much let us know all that stuff. And we'd like to see you, <laughs> <laughs> we'd like to see you again next ne time. Next time, on, yeah, we'll just finish Dutch. it off. There you, you go. <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> oh, my God.